أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم أتي الله أتي رسول أولي الأمر منكم and always a reminder for myself and عبدك العجيس الضعيف ومسكين وظالم الجهل and but for the grace of Allah that we're still in existence. Alhamdulillah the last night we, we talked about Allah has a category of creation in which their understanding, their knowledges, their practices are different and that negation is a secret that everything and different ayatul kareem from Holy Qur'an Yusabbihu wa bihamdi Allah in one of Ayatul Kareem describes that, for verily everything is praising me, none can hear it except the people of tafakkur. Means then none can hear it, this praise. Then another will be in reference to knowledge, none know it but the people of tafakkur, so knowledge, none understand it but the people of tafakkur. So the knowledges that they teach this group of people that Allah is giving reference to is not understood. Hence you come across people that say, what is he talking about? exactly what Allah was describing that that one is in the category of none understand it. So there is a category of knowledges in which none understand it but and Allah gives the exception except the people of tafakkur. So when somebody's on a path and they say, oh, I tried to describe it to my relatives, they got angry. I tried to describe it to a friend, they got angry. I tried to describe it to a companion, they got angry. What is this? And Allah is describing in Qur'an, don't be angry, Allah is already negating. There are knowledges, there are informations, there are hearing and seeing and feeling. As Salaamu Alaykum Wa Rahmatullahi Wa Barakatuh This is Shaykh Nur John, thank you for watching the video that you're watching. InshaAllah if you're happy with the content and happy with these programs, please support the button below the programs that we have for our orphanage repairs, our water well, give the gift of life, our mobile food vans. We have now five vans, Vancouver, Chicago, Los Angeles, Pakistan. There's many programs that reach thousands of people and rescue foods and give those supplies to people in need. Your support is greatly appreciated. Also, be so kind as to leave uh, loving comments and please share the stream. Every bit counts. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Understandings in which Allah is giving to us, none understand it. So means already 99.9% .9 have now been taken off of that selection. So the majority will be none, the exception is a few. So like a phrase, you're seeing the majority of it will now be negated from these types of knowledges. The exception is what the word except means, a few in which they are the people of tafakkur. So when we write notes, none understand it except few. And Allah defines them as the people of tafakkur. So then big letters, I want to be from people of tafakkur. And not anyone can call themselves that. So they make a video and say, what are awliya and common Wahhabi and Diobandi teachings? Everyone's awliya, what are you talking about? 
make it to be for everyone, it's not for everyone. There are those whom, ittaqullah wa alimukumullah, where Allah give many categories, ulul albab, the people of the gate, ulama qoyim al bil qist, the ulama whom have a specific knowledge, means all these Allah is giving to us like your dunya degrees, which one you want? It's not communism in the heavens, everyone the same. No, it's a heavenly kingdom with ranks, ranks and what gives them rank is their knowledge and their deeds. The knowledge that they acquired and they applied it for their deeds. Not the knowledge that you read and memorized and none of which you apply because then you'll be held accountable to that knowledge. Those are the other guys. They read, they read, they read and none of it they apply and they tell to other people, you should apply it. But these knowledges that Allah wants and these ranks that Allah wants to give is in the pursuit of knowledges. And that's what describing last night, we say again because everyone hears what they want to hear, not what was actually spoken. So you repeat it because that's the tajalli that's coming often. So that people again try to absorb it and go deeper into it, contemplate about it, Ya Rabbi I want to be from the people of tafakkur and distinguish myself from the people who don't understand and none will understand it, Ya Rabbi I want to raise my rank to the people of tafakkur in which they understand, they hear, they feel, they sense something exceptional. Because Allah gave except, it's not everyone has it, it's exceptional. And as a result they hear with Allah's hearing, they see with Allah's seeing, they feel with Allah's feelings, their hands move with Allah's might and majesty, their feet move, their qadam moves based on Allah's will. And Allah describes them in Hadith al-Qudsi that they are Rabbaniyoon and they have power of kun fayakun. This is the station of nothingness and the reality of Abdullah and servanthood, real servanthood. Because what Prophet described that I, the love of the name Abdullah Servanthood is not the dunya, to be a servant and have an incorrect understanding. But the servants of Allah are at such a rank that Allah dress them from abd, ayn ba dal, abd. Means the ayn that Allah gave to them because they're people of tafakkur. The ayn is the crown of their reality. The ayn is their ancient ilm, a'alim, knowledges that I'm going to dress you from alim, ancient knowledges of Allah and as a result your ayn which also means your eye, your spiritual eye has to be opened. And Allah dresses them from the reality of that ba, because ayn is the dress that's going to be dressing them. Ayn, the ayn dresses the ba. And the ba that Allah is going to give to them is when Qur'an is in 30 juz, is the secret of the power of Qur'an going to be dressed upon them. 
The Qur'an is described as in 30 juz, these 30 juz in seven verses of Surah Fatiha. I mean the seven verses actually carry the secret of these Holy Qur'an. The secret of these seven verses of Surah Al-Fatiha in the reality of Bismillahir Rahmanir Raheem. One whom Allah wants to bestow ayn and make him an alim and grant him from alim Allah's ancient knowledges, not accounting and dunya knowledges. Allah is going to dress them from the Bismillahir Rahmanir Raheem. And that whole Bismillahir Rahmanir Raheem is in the bah, like a laser. Qur'an, 30 juz, 7 verse, 7 verse, Bismillahir Rahmanir Raheem, all of that condensed into bah. So when Allah opens the bab and the door, because behind that door is an ayn, is Allah's ancient knowledges that opens like a door to the ba. And from that ba is an infinite knowledge and reality dressing upon their souls. Means then the station of servanthood is going to be based on their control of their eyes, the understanding of how to open their heart, opens, opening the, the reality of the heart, all of what we talked about of the people of tafakkur. Means that normal people, they can't say they're from the people of tafakkur. They can't claim that everybody is, is achieving wilayat and sainthood and proximity and nearness to Allah They can't even claim sincerity, how you can claim you're near to Allah When you can't verify your own sincerity, you can't say, I'm sincere. No, it's not up to you. Allah has to grant sincerity and ikhlas. But what we gave for ikhlas? Khudan al-Muttaqeen. Allah opened the Qur'an with the people of ikhlas. That Hudan al-Muttaqeen means the Muttaqeen in which Allah opened all five senses from the oceans of yaqeen and certainty. The mutaqeen and hudan, it's a guidance for them because as a, res as a result of that hadith al-Qudsi, Allah opened all their senses with sincerity because Allah's dress from His Divinely dress is upon them. How can you have sincere hearing if Allah didn't be your hearing? How can you have sincere eyes? If Allah's not your seeing, it means you didn't reach ikhlas. So how can they call themselves from the nearness and friendship of Allah That's not a title for somebody to claim to themselves but its proofs are available. The proof is Hadith al-Qudsi. Can you claim that Allah is your hearing, that you hear your consciousness, you hear yourself? You hear the inspiration that comes to you, you can't and you can't ever achieve that if all you hear is shaitan. People are stuck in the station of hearing shaitan. They hear waswas and they want to react on it, they want to get confirmation and talk about it. Soon as you do that, you lost your approach to hearing. When you, and this has to go clear into our hearts to understand, when shaitan is outside the door, if he knocks and you ignore it, you're passing. When he knocks and you open it, hello? You failed. And if you open it and begin to talk to him, you really failed. But by that time he's in your home, in your heart and in your wujud. 
means the station of hearing few can pass that. And this hearing opens everything. Dunya people they want to say, no it's seeing, they can see, oh I see UFOs, I see the flying people, I see these lights. I... The seeing is rubbish if your hearing has not been certified. Seeing, we said before, your head is like a Netflix, shaitans can cast into your head all they want. It's not hard to override your head. Now Elon Musk will be coming into your head. He has a neurotransmitter coming now, right? He's going to put a line into the back of your pineal gland and he's going to start showing you movies in your head. But can he do that to your heart? Can they cast into your heart and, and give inspiration and realities? They think consciousness is in the head. Those are just the memory files. The consciousness and the reality of the soul is in the heart in which they have no access. Those are encrypted files by Allah The transference of my memories that I put into my head, of course they'll be able to download it, put it into a robot that looks like human and say, look no John we cloned you because it has my memories from my head from a circuit board but not my consciousness, not what my soul feels, not what my soul has its connection to Allah There's no access for that. But they're going to bring machines out and say, look we can clone people. What clone? These are biological robots because their technology far, far more advanced than what humans know. Their machinery is organic material, not uh, metal machines. When they introduce that to this dunya for a great fitna and they convey through the head and steal from the head but these are just memory cells like a computer. The consciousness and the reality of insan is in the heart. And that's why then this way of taskiyah and this way of sincerity, shut your head off. The knowledge that you have and the knowledge that only Allah have is not on their head. Actually they trained all their life, cut their head off. La ilaha illallah is the first zikr of every tariqah, la to your head, ilaha there is no divinity, illallah but Allah This light has to move and burn. First thing it burns is the head we described before, the head has to be trained to be shut off so that its ears don't work for shaitan. So as much as shaitan wants to whisper, you're behind the steel door, it's not gonna happen. If they can't achieve that and each time they open the door, oh, fall prey to it, start arguing and, and, and fighting with people because of what they heard from shaitan, the whisperings of shaitan, this will never open. So it's not like, oh I just wanted to discuss this, no, you, you keep shaitan far away, whisperings and doubts and shak and everything because this way is miraculous, you're walking on water to reach the Divine the Presence. I just want to ask you about this, why? Because shaitan whispered into your heart something, to your ear something? Safeguard, when you safeguard then they'll train you that your ears are now safeguarded. You trained on how to cut the ears off, on how to cut the waswas off, you meditated with sound, you played salawats, you meditate, you meditate until the energy was built up so strong that you vibrate a very powerful energy, that the shaitans have a difficult time coming close to that energy without burning. That's the Dracula movies, that the light is so strong on that individual because Allah opened for them ikhlas and sincerity that it burns them to get near so 
forget it, we go to the next one whom has no light and just whisper all day long. Not even whisper but sing songs for them, give them uh, storytelling books, everything, everything. And those are the people whom continuously hearing these things and getting angry, talking about this, talking about that. So then means that never any spirituality will open. This way is based on samina wa tana, I, I hear and I obey. And the first level of hearing and obeying is, is lock your ears from shaitan. He's about to get a lot more powerful. The dajjal are jinn and their nation are jinn and the jinn support everything that they're doing. And as a result they show many different miracles because people can't see the magic show. So means then this people of tafakkur and hudan al-mutaqeen, none will know it except the people of mutaqeen is Allah sanctified and certified their hearing. As a result of cleaning their hearing Allah dressed them that, I am the hearing in which you hear. And that's the goal to achieve for the people of tafakkur. So we clarified last night, be from the people of tafakkur. When they say, what are you? I'm from the school of tafakkur. What Sufi? So forget about that, let me tell you about tafakkur. So if a Muslim asks you, what are you? Say, I'm in a school of tafakkur. They can't come against Qur'an. And in that school of tafakkur, I'm in search of ilma laduni wa hikmati bi saliheen. I want ilma laduni, I want Divinely Heavenly knowledges. Not a hadith interpretations and translation services that take the hadith in Arabic, the audience doesn't know Arabic and they speak it in their language and people are astonished. Because this is the greatness of Prophet But that's not you, you're merely translating. Awliya because of their connection and love and muhabbat for Sayyidina Muhammad the hadith comes alive for the servant. And the hadith begins to explain the reality for the servants. You be with whom you love. Do you think that Prophet walked around and talked in three sentence and two sentence everywhere? Or these were the notes in which to reference that reality? You be with whom you love, there must have been immense talks on that reality. Not that you be with whom you love and then walk away. Immense realities were given and dispensed to the holy companions. These are like the footnotes to make reference to it. Those same notes are enough for the ashiqeen, as soon as they mention it the access to the heart of Prophet begins to downpour into their heart. That you be with whom you love and all the immensity of its realities and whom you love will always be with you and opens the immense reality of love, the immense reality of companionship, how to achieve that companionship, how to draw near to the presence of Sayyidina Muhammad So it wasn't just two words that you translate into your language or another language, it was an entire teaching. Tariqah can take two or three holy hadith and would be enough for you from today to the Day of Judgment. That if you learned it, understood it, made your tafakkur and contemplation with it and lived by it, it was enough, it was common for everything. The immensity of the oceans of the words of Sayyidina Muhammad that can't be understood how it opens up to immense oceans. So means then al tafakkur they are trained in controlling their hearing. As soon as you open the door for shaitan you're already lost and then this game begins again and you lost what you achieved. And if you don't achieve and you don't achieve, you don't achieve 
no problem, they stay with you a hundred years, Allah gives to them patience. But you're not achieving what was meant to be achieved and there's no more time to play around, time is finishing. If you're falling at this stage then read what now is coming from Dajjal. The immensity of deceit, immensity of deception and all of the false showings of miracles, taking dead making them come to life, taking those whom sicked and healing them, taking all of these different examples with the izzat of Allah with permission of Allah to create an immense deceit upon this earth except for mukhlas, except for the people of tafakkur and contemplation in which they open their heart, open their reality, reach the stations of sincerity and they don't run this life with a physical eye and physical ears only. But when they contemplate they hear, they hear what people are saying not by their lips but by the intention moving within their heart. They can see with a vision that Allah gave to them and each to their darajat of what Allah want them to see. That's why many people they have a shyness and begin to hide themselves from pious people because they hear with Allah's hearing, they hear the waswas within the hearts and they see what Allah wants them to see. And as a result of that people stay away but their training and the humility is that they don't expose these realities, they don't expose people but they give guidance. And that's why when we come into their associations everyone should think, this guidance is solely for myself. Same for the one speaking, my shaykhs if I negate myself they send a guidance for me. And I'm the first to talk to my, this talk is for myself, to reconfirm for myself. So it means that at all times the guidance is coming, they see us, Allah sees us, Sayyidina Muhammad sees us. Everyone believes shaitan is everywhere, yes somebody is shaitan everywhere, say yes, is shaitan around you, say all the time. You think Allah gave more power to shaitan or to the soul of Sayyidina Muhammad He works with Izzatullah, Izzat al-Rasul wa Izzat al-Mu'mineen, means he even has to get permission of mu'mineen. He's working through their power, he can't enter an area without Izzatullah, Izzat al-Rasul wa Izzat al-Mu'mineen. Means they have to give a permission for that shaitan to come and begin to attack that person. Why? Because there's an imtihan, there's a secret now happening. How can you have a grade in a school if there's no testing? Everything that coming Allah's observant because He wants the darajat, I want to give that person a raise, I want to give them a higher rank. If it was not controllable there would be no way to achieve anything. And that's why Allah described to shaitan, you can go over and after whoever you want except my mukhlas because the mukhlas then are mahfuz and guarded by Allah They may make mistakes and they do make mistakes and Allah guards them, cleans them, washes them and pushes away the shaitan. But as a result of these types of training means then these are the lights and the barakah within our lives. When we accompany them they're teaching us 
how to have sincerity in your hearing, how to train yourself from continuously listening to waswas. If you can understand that then the training will begin on how to open the eyes, how to take a life in which to close your physical eyes. The nothing from these physical eyes sees good but deceit in this world, Ya Rabbi. I can't take my isharat from my physical eyes and then I train this way of tafakkur in which to contemplate. I listen to the salawats, I close off my ears, I begin to make my tafakkur and my contemplation and that, Ya Rabbi I want to be in the Divinely Presence, I want to be in the presence of Holy Kaaba, I want to be in the presence of Rawza Sharif, in the presence of Sayyidina Muhammad And they train and they train and they train until Allah sees sincerity in their eyes. They have clean eyes, can Allah grant sincerity to dirty eyes? No. Eyes that are just hungry for everything, they have a hasad for everything, anything they look at they want, anything they see somebody has they're jealous and angry of. The eyes are trying to eat everything, absorb everything and then the very wicked whom have wicked and dirty eyes, evil eyes. Allah doesn't open for that any eye, means then the training is that they heard, they practiced, they listened, they pushed away shaitan, they pushed away waswas. They purify their hearing in which Allah begins to grant a sincerity in their hearing. They hear their consciousness, they hear the proximity to their shaykh and to their training. They hear the talks and the reality of the talk that comes into their heart and as a result they spend much time closing their eyes. Like, a, like being in a qabr that their life like they're dead when they make their salah at the end of the salah they sit for tafakkur. And that they train not to see, to empty the eyes and in their training they realized that when they saw too much it made their meditation even more difficult. Because as soon as you close your eyes all you see are the bad and nasty images that run through your eyes. So then they train themselves not to see like that, to clean their eyes, clean their vision and as a result of clean eyes. The tariqah comes and says, keep your nazar on your qadam, keep your eyes on your path. Means what? On your goal, you're about to go to the grave, make sure you're good with Allah And when they clean their eyes and made istighfar and clean and make istighfar and then they ask when the eyes became cleaner and cleaner and cleaner, Ya Rabbi I want to be in the presence of Sayyidina Muhammad Grant me the visualization of Rawza Sharif and Madinat al Munawara and that I'm just sitting at this Sharif, Rawza Sharif and keep myself in that company, keep this, the company of my shaykh. When Allah said, Ya kunuma sadiqeen, keep the company of truthful servants. Allah doesn't care for dunya, He's making reference to the world of light. Allah's when Allah's Divinely speech is not for this dunya. When Allah is teaching us, kunuma sadiqeen, keep the company of truthful servants. You think it's for the physical world only? Or more powerful is keep their visualization with them, keep yourself always in your ruhaniyat with them. That when you meditate, I'm sitting with them. When I'm contemplating I'm sitting with them, everything I'm asking to be in their presence. Why? Because if I meditate alone I begin to lie to myself, how were you today? I was really good. What? Did you do anything wrong? Absolutely not, I'm a great guy. But now visualize the shaykh is in front of you and say, do you know and I don't know? 
and I'm nothing, I'm nothing. I want to do my awrad, I want to contemplate, inspire within my heart what I did wrong and everything will begin to reflect onto you. You said this wrong, you did this wrong, you thought this wrong. Because Allah described them when you pass these graves, they don't think they're dead, they're very much alive. These are shuhada. So, awliyaullah are what? Mushahada. Right? They died. When you die, Allah becomes your hearing, Allah becomes your seeing. That's a description of somebody whom operates with their soul, not their body. Well, somebody who operates with their light, they can be many places at the same time. So they would darken the room and put a box and then they, in this dark room in the box they have a candle and then they poke a hole and a light comes out. You poke another hole and a light comes out that way. You poke another hole, light comes out that way. Means the wave reality of the shaykh and the soul can be many directions at the same time, many places at the same time. One whom is hayat and has the oceans of al-hayat in which Allah gave their soul to be hayyul qayyum, they're not operating as a particle. Later you find out in quantum physics everything has a wave reality. We only see the particle version of that. So it means their lights are everywhere. As soon as I meditate and contemplate I'm asking for one of those to be present with me. That I'm asking to reach to these realities and that light begins to reflect a truth onto my heart and soul. Worshipness is for Allah but Allah ordered keep their companionship. Just like when you're with the imam and making salah, you're praying to Allah but with the imam. Because their light is there, their reality is there, brings out truthfulness in the character, brings out an awareness. Means that shaitan is going to be there. If you don't have the representative of Rahman, it's just you and shaitan. And shaitan making every type of whisper, every type of uh, bad advice and bad gossip into the heart. As soon as you bring the madad and ask for the support, what happens is now you're battling shaitan because when the madad comes and the light of these awliyaullah come, wa kunuma sadiqeen. And when the truthful servants of Allah their lights come, it brings a tremendous light to push away shayateen. So it means in this way of tafakkur has an immense reality. And this reality is all about opening the power of the head, opening the ears, closing it to shaitan, opening the eyes, closing it to shaitan, opening the breath and the power of the breath. If the ears are not opening, the eyes are not going to open, has to be a sincerity. When the ears become sincere and fight and fight and fight the devil, then Allah grants sincerity and takes the lock off of their hearing. They begin to meditate and contemplate because the lock is off, the inspiration and ilham and knowledges begin to flow into their soul. That knowledge and that inspiration is a power, that's the power they need to begin to open their heart and the vision of their heart. Because they close the physical eyes and now they want the spiritual vision to begin to open. It requires a power to open it and as a result they receive these fires, they receive these lights, they receive these inspirations and angelic dresses and that angelic dress supports them with a power in which to have spiritual vision. That Allah's light that He gave into their reality and their soul becomes like an angelic power that reaches beyond the seven heavens if Allah wants. They can see you through you and into the seven heavens, their spiritual firasal. And that's why they describe, beware of the vision of the believer for they look with the light of Allah
means these are immense realities. They can't just say, oh we are from those people, no. And that's why Allah says, none understand this. Yusabbihu wa bihamdi, everything is praising me and everything has a praise and none will know it except the exceptional whom Allah granted them a reality. But we can't be from that if we're not enrolled in that. You can't sit and say, oh I'm just going somewhere, I'm going to be from people of ilm al-laduni. If they're not serving Divinely knowledges, you're not eating Divinely knowledges, you're not being fed Divinely knowledges. And if they're not teaching hikmati bi salihin means good manners and good adab. Then you see other people with bi adab. They learn three things and they're very rude, they insult everyone, they open their mouth. That's not hikmati bi salihin. They take something and they inappropriately use it at an inappropriate time and you say, oh this person has absolutely no hikmah. And that becomes the danger of knowledge. Knowledge can be like a bazooka. You know you point it at the wrong place and you give it to a child, they use it and they harm everybody with it. So ilm al-laduni doesn't bear its fruits with hikmati bi salihin. These are the two wings that Allah has to give to them. But how are you going to receive hikmati bi salihin if you're not in the schools of hikmah and wisdom? And that then requires you to be from Surat al-Kahf like Sayyidina Khidr salam that I'm going to send you to one of these people whom attained a rahmah and then we taught him ilm al-laduni, attained a rahmah. So Surat al-Kahf, the 18th surah is for all the students of tariqah, read it and understand Allah's criteria for following tariqah. That is, that is by Allah no shaykh has to say anything. Allah gives the criteria for accompanying these types of servants. One whom attained a rahmah, means they received the mercy and the rahmah and the presence of Sayyidina Muhammad and now he dispenses ilm al-laduni, heavenly knowledges. We pray that Allah expand our hearts to understand and grant us an izza and might to overcome all this wickedness and badness of character. Subhana rabbika rabbil izzati amma yasifoon wa salaamun al mursaleen wa alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen wa hurmati Muhammad al Mustafa wa bi siri Surat al Fatiha. <coughs> People are killing each other now because of waswas. They hear something in their mind, they begin to attack people, fight people, argue with people. If they have weapons they go after these people. Shaitan knows what he's doing, it's not something small, it's immense in Allah's eyes because of the amount of shaitans around somebody flying around them with a very big darkness. And as a result the person listens and acts on it is big guna, big problem. So look at the extent of what people are doing. They harm people, kill people, abuse people. Why? You think they're inspired to do that from themselves or from the heavens? No, from shaitans. And that's how shaitans operate. You become an avatar and video game for a shaitan when you are supposed to be the avatar for Allah you're supposed to be the servant of Allah and to do Allah's bidding on earth, to feed people, help people, give to people. Instead they want to become the avatar for shaitan, go say this to them, go say this to him, go destroy this, go, go say this, do that. And you say what? Samina wa tana to the shaitan? And you think Allah will be alright with that? Or it happens enough times, enough time, enough time. And Allah said, finished, you are now with shaitan, go, go and enjoy yourself. And this become more and more prevalent because the dajjal is moving, his zuhur coming out they say in 2023. So Allah protect us and to, to guard us 
with the ishq and the love of Sayyidina Muhammad inshaAllah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. This is Shaykh Narjan, thank you for watching the video that you're watching. InshaAllah if you're happy with the content and happy with these programs, please support the button below the programs that we have for our orphanage repairs, our water well, give the gift of life, our mobile food vans. We have now five vans, Vancouver, Chicago, Los Angeles, Pakistan. There's many programs that reach thousands of people and rescue foods and give those supplies to people in need. Your support is greatly appreciated. Also, be so kind as to leave uh, loving comments and please share the stream. Every bit counts. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.